Hi, I'm Jolene Feist, and I'm doing this Take 5 message on God wants to give you a sound mind. I'm going to pray. Holy Spirit, would you come? I surrender my mind, will, and emotions. I ask you, Holy Spirit, to speak to every listener right now to expose lies, expose strongholds, and bring deliverance of every listener's mind. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. So I've personally been attacked in my mind most of my life, just believing the lies that the enemy has put in my mind that have actually turned into strongholds. And a stronghold is a fortress, it's a tower uh, where, the, where there's a lie behind this tower in our mind. And God's word is mighty to tear them down. And we're going to read God's word in a second on how to do that. But real quick, I'm going to define the word repentance. Repentance, when you look it up, is actually a change of mind. It's a change of thinking. It's turning from your sin and going to God in his righteousness. So real quick, the two questions that I want to ask every listen ask every listener in this message are what are you feeding your mind with do you have a negative mind or do you have a positive mind a negative mind would be someone who listens to negative uh, news all the time negative social media all the time it could be a person who's hanging around negative people uh, you you turn out to be who you hang around and negative people will bring you down. Negative news will turn you into a negative person if you're not careful. And then a positive mind, that is someone who actually feeds their mind with the word of God. It, it feeds their mind with the power of the Holy Spirit, sermons that feed their mind, worship and godly fellowship. And second, my second question for everyone is what voice are you listening to? You either listen to God's voice or you listen to Satan's voice. In a chart that I love that I found on the internet, God's voice, when you define it, it stills you, it reassures you, it leads you, it enlightens you, it forgives you, it calms you, it encourages you, it comforts you. Amen. But Satan's voice, it rushes you, it frightens you, it pushes you, it confuses you, it condemns you, it stresses you, it discourages you, it worries you. So discerning which voice you're listening to. The, the Bible verse that I'm going to read, and then I have kind of a homework assignment after the video that I want everyone to do alone with the Lord. But the Bible verse that backs everything up with all of this is 2 Corinthians 10, 3 through 6. For, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. The weapons of our warfare are carnal, but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds, casting down arguments of every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ and being ready to punish all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. So first, we tear down the strongholds by God's word and by the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' mighty name. And then when these lies come back, you rebuke them and you renew your mind to God's truth of who God says you are. So my homework assignment that I want everyone to do um, after I'm done videotaping, I want everyone to have two pieces of paper. It's gonna, one paper, you're gonna title it lie list, stronghold list. You're gonna ask the Holy Spirit to show you lies that you have believed about yourself. Write them down, be honest, be raw, be real. And then on the second piece of paper, you're gonna have a truth list. And the truth lists are either gonna be Bible verses that replace that lie, or it can just be a truth nugget that you get from the Holy Spirit. And that truth list, you're gonna keep this, you're gonna treasure this, you're gonna read this about yourself so you can walk in victory in your mind. And then that lie list, when you're done with that, you're gonna tear it up or burn it up, whatever you want to do with it, but you're wanting to, the purpose of this activity is to tear down these strongholds, to have a free mind, to have a sound mind in the name of Jesus. So I'm just going to pray um, again and just say my goodbye here. 
So Holy Spirit, would you come right now? Again, I ask that you would speak to every listener, expose lies, lies of just any lies that we believe about ourselves, over our calling, over our marriage, over our kids. It could um, just be anything. But God, I pray that you would just reveal these lies to every listener's mind. And I pray for deliverance in every listener's mind. I pray that these strongholds would be teared down in Jesus' mighty name, casted out in Jesus' mighty name to go to the pit of hell where they belong. And I pray that our church would be a church that would have free minds, that would have sound minds, that would hear your voice, that would listen to your voice, and that would be obedient to your word. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.